With this movie, we begin our development of the character, as I'd mentioned in the opening section here. We're going to look at how to think about working with and designing a character to better understand how you should approach some of your character development so that you can render it or create it successfully in Anime Studio Pro. I'm starting with just some basic shapes like you do with uh, all character development. Uh, most frogs are kind of low and squatty. Now our frog will not have speaking parts as we already outlined. So most of the emotive qualities, the emotional connection that people will have is actually going to be through the eyes. And because of that, I'm going to make the eyes just a little bit larger here so that we can go ahead and uh, scrunch them up. We can add eyebrows or eyelids. We can have floating eyebrows if we want. And I want to tune up this head a little bit and, and make it a little more frog-like. So I've got the head in its own shape. I'm thinking about this going, oh, we've got our, our own little shape layer here, and I want the head a little bit wider, I think. This is easy for me as I start working on it to say, well, this should probably be on a layer right behind the eyes, and I'll get our, our frog mouth in here. I haven't quite decided what I want to do with that. But I'll go ahead and get our body. I'm going to have actually the front legs, if you will, coming out from behind this shape which would be the chest or main body, at least from the front view. We're going to go ahead and uh, develop a little bit of the side view. For our frog, we'll give it slightly human-like knee joints here, just to, I guess you would say, uh, increase the anthropomorphization of it uh, to make it look a little more human so people can relate to it a little bit better. And the eyes, I think we're going to make these things pretty detailed. Uh, we'll give them some highlights. We'll make these the most expressive items. I don't know that I even want these things the same size. Uh, part of the charm of the character is going to be having different sizes. The work that we're doing here will be able to import directly into Anime Studio Pro and do our drawing on top of that. It'll be a great fast way to save some time in our character development because we already know, or I should say, our, our character design. I'm thinking I want a little more body back behind here, so I haven't decided on this upper body if I want that to be just a single type of sphere that I can work with. And this is where you work out these type of details. How complex do I want this? You can certainly get very, I should say, uh, realistic with it in terms of realistic three-quarter head turns and those type of decisions. But those take a lot longer to animate, and that's not the style we're going for here. The style, of course, is going to be a slightly uh, comic effect that has details right where we want details. And in this case, it's going to be the eye. Drawing the extension lines out now so that as we do our preliminary work, I've got some points of reference to go ahead and draw the rest of the character in profile here. After this, and I won't do it all on the movie here while we're working, but it's to work out some characterization, some different emotions or something the character might be feeling. So I'll work with the head shape here. And I'll give it something slightly amphibious looking, maybe even almost uh, fish head like usually with the stereotypical uh, protruding frog jaw. We've got these, these cheeks that maybe we want to stick out from the side. Again, the eyes are going to be one of the predominant features here. So I'll make those fairly large. Not quite sure how they would sit on a head in real life, but hey, this isn't real life. Maybe we'll have the frog mouth come down here. Now for the back, if you've ever seen uh, small dogs or cats sit, and that tail kind of tucks in underneath, that's what we'll do right here. I'll go ahead and start the arms at about the same spot, the forward arms on this. And then for the back legs, I'm going to go ahead and think about this in shapes that I can do in Anime Studio Pro. So I've got one shape here that I would be able to stop with, almost a uh, ellipse all itself, for the upper part of the leg. And for the lower part of the leg, we'll have something very similar that we go ahead and connect into our feet then. Maybe I want to tuck this side in here. And this is just part of the thinking process going through exactly how I want this character to appear. We've got this, and maybe this eye's just out in front a little too much. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. I'm not liking the way that's looking. Finish drawing the head back here so I can kind of see where it's at. Have that set back a little further on the head. This is when it's very fast and easy to make these types of character design decisions so you don't have to go back and experiment and kill lots of time working in Anime Studio Pro. 
once you get into the production art of it, that's where you want to have all your details definitely worked out so you can capitalize and use the tools in Anime Studio Pro a little more easily and quickly for your purposes. Let's go ahead and rough in some heavier lines here and see if we're liking the way the shapes are pointing out here. I'll uh, start with the eye here. I'll give my sense that there's going to be a little reflected light going into it so that the eyes themselves become a little more dimensional. We'll look at some new ways to use some of the tools in Anime Studio Pro that we haven't looked at yet to be able to pull off tricks like that. And while I'm working on the eyes, I'm thinking, well, do I want these to, to appear kind of sphere-like? Do I want shadow in there? If I do, I'll need to use some of those special gradient tools that are in Anime Studio. For the frog skin itself, I don't know yet whether I want this to be something more like a texture green or whether I want this to be a solid green. And I'm leaning towards a textured so we can get some soft, non-hard edge types of patterns in there for the spots as opposed to just having a solid green or solid types of spots that you see lots of times on the frogs. I'll draw my circle down here or my, my body shape. I'll go ahead and tuck in the little characterizations here. Don't know whether I want to make the frog hand look more like a human hand with webbed fingers or make it look like the rear flippers here. That's something I can work out in the characterizations as we get ready to go with this. We've got our human type knees that come in here. We'll bring this down to a stylized simple type of webbed foot here because it will simply be easier to animate a solid shape like that versus one that has all the detail put into it. In our next movie, we'll go ahead and see this finished out, and we'll look on some character stylizations or characterizations of our frog character.